China's long-anticipated H-20 stealth bomber is closer than ever to becoming a real airborne platform, one capable of changing how nations think about reach, presence, and long-distance aerospace capability. This video explores what makes the H-20 fundamentally different, how analysts believe it will influence strategic calculations across the Indo-Pacific, and why its development marks a historic turning point. The most remarkable feature of the H-20 is its flying wing architecture, a layout chosen specifically to minimize detection and maximize aerodynamic efficiency over long distances. This approach places the H-20 within the same design family as the US B-21 Raider, giving it a reduced radar signature and a cleaner airframe optimized for extended flights. Chinese aviation officials have hinted at this progression for years, releasing promotional material in 2018 that closely mirrored Northrop Grumman's unveiling of the B-21, further reinforcing global interests surrounding its development and raising expectations within aerospace circles. This confirmed that the bomber was not a speculative idea, but a real aircraft advancing through China's aerospace pipeline and gaining momentum across international analytical discussions. Public reporting suggests the H-20 will likely operate with a range between 8,500 kilometers and 13,000 kilometers, depending on configuration and potential in-flight refueling. Even the lower estimate places significant areas of the Indo-Pacific within reach, including Guam, Japan, the Philippines, and sections of Northern Australia. The aircraft's internal payload capacity is expected to support multiple tons of equipment, allowing the deployment of precision-guided systems, long-range standoff assets, or other specialized payloads designed for diverse mission sets. Unlike China's current bombers, most of which trace their lineage back to older designs, the H-20 represents a modern step forward, created from the outset to serve as a long-range penetrating platform. Its smooth wing design, internal bays, and low observable structure signal an aircraft intended to approach distant locations with significantly reduced visibility across electromagnetic detection systems. The transition from legacy engines to more advanced propulsion is another milestone. The H-20 is expected to use a power plant that supports higher fuel efficiency, improved thermal management, and quieter operation throughout the flight envelope. Ultimately, the H-20 is not about matching every detail of the B-21 or any other platform. It is about giving China its first truly modern long-range stealth aircraft, one that changes how analysts evaluate reach, flexibility, and aerospace planning. The introduction of the H-20 marks a significant moment for China because it represents a move beyond reliance on missiles or shorter-range aircraft for long-distance tasks. For decades, China's extended-range aviation options were limited by engines, airframe designs, or technology constraints. The H-20 signals a new phase. China gains a platform able to approach faraway points with a level of subtlety and range it has not possessed before. This shift influences how analysts think about Beijing's overall aerospace posture, particularly as it seeks more flexible tools to support its long-distance objectives. One important aspect of the H-20 is how it alters perception. When nations suddenly have a platform that can traverse thousands of kilometers discreetly, the entire conversation around aerospace presence changes. The H-20 allows China to participate in discussions previously dominated by countries with established long-range stealth fleets. Even estimates of a 2030s debut already shape planning because the anticipated capabilities must be considered in present-day assessments. Strategic modeling does not wait for an aircraft to roll off the assembly line. It begins the moment credible information suggests a meaningful transformation in capability. Furthermore, long-range stealth technology affects expectations across the Indo-Pacific. Regional observers watch carefully because an aircraft with more than 8,500 kilometers of range introduces new factors for logistics hubs, infrastructure planning, and aerospace coordination. This includes areas like Guam, Okinawa, the northern Philippines, and expanded regions of the western Pacific. While the H-20's exact avionics and signature management features remain classified, 
The consensus is that its design aims to approach distant areas with reduced visibility, altering how detection networks are structured and monitored. Another reason this development matters is the psychological dimension. A country possessing a modern long-range stealth platform often gains greater confidence in its overall aerospace capability. This confidence influences how it positions its technology, how it communicates intentions, and how it participates in regional dialogues. Even without being fully fielded, the H-20 reshapes assumptions around range, response time. As the H-20 moves closer to operational status, nations across the Indo-Pacific are beginning to adjust their planning. The first major response involves basing architecture. Facilities once considered distant enough to remain outside long-range reach must now account for the possibility of a stealth aircraft capable of arriving with limited advance indication. Locations such as Guam, Okinawa, and the northern Philippines are reassessing infrastructure resilience, including dispersed facilities, enhanced protective measures, and improved redundancy in aviation networks. In addition to basing adjustments, early warning systems will require upgrades. Stealth aircraft challenge traditional radar arrays because their shape, materials, and flight behaviors minimize signatures across multiple detection bands. As a result, the region is likely to invest more heavily in multi-static radar, space-based sensors, and fused data systems that integrate inputs from satellites, surface radars, and airborne platforms. These new layers are necessary to maintain awareness in a future where low observable aircraft may appear more frequently. Another adaptation relates to fleet composition. The United States already prioritizes the B-21 Raider as a next-generation stealth platform, and the H-20's progress further reinforces the importance of fielding more such aircraft. Flexible basing, rotational deployments, and advanced training cycles create an environment where stealth platforms from multiple countries may operate in parallel, each influencing the other's planning. Regional partnerships will evolve as well. Nations like Japan, Australia, and South Korea are pursuing more collaborative approaches to long-range sensing, aerial defense networks, and advanced aerospace technology exchanges. Finally, decision-making frameworks will need to account for extended-range aerospace assets. Analysts will build new models that incorporate stealth platforms into timelines, scenarios, and response cycles. The presence of such an aircraft encourages more analytical rigor, prompting updated simulations, revised logistics chains, and enhancements in communication networks. In this way, even before the H-20 appears publicly, it is already prompting a shift in how nations plan for the next era of long-distance aerospace capability. The H-20 represents one of the most significant milestones in China's aerospace development. Its long-range, low-observable architecture and modern design philosophy mark a decisive step beyond previous platforms, placing China among the countries capable of advanced long-distance stealth operations. More importantly, the anticipation surrounding the H-20 is already reshaping regional planning, infrastructure development, and future technology investment. Whether it appears late this decade or in the 2030s, its influence is here now. As the world watches its progress, the H-20 becomes a symbol of how quickly global aerospace capabilities can evolve and how thoughtfully nations must adapt. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.